Well, here we are. It's uh, Sunday. Sunday morning. Can't see the M today. Covered with snow, finally. December 9th. I don't know. Since I've lived here, this is the latest I've ever seen the, the weather like this. Um, usually it's been a lot colder and a lot more snow, but not this year. Anyway, um, this is part of our road report. We're up here on Dewey Street. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the snow that fell night before last is packed down. Looks like the city brought their blade up here and took off some of it. But um, oh. You can see where overnight this all turned to ice. And talked to a couple people in the neighborhood. They didn't see the sand truck around this morning. So unless you got four wheel drive, uh, you're probably not gonna get up this road or chains or um, studded tires. Front wheel drive is nice too. Studded tires with front wheel drive if you don't have four wheel drive. Um, but, um, well, I don't know why they don't put more sand down or gravel. I mean, since I've lived here, I've noticed that when they do come by with the sand truck, it's a minimal amount of gravel that they put down and it's really not doing much good um, as far as traction is concerned. We'll walk this a little bit just to see if we can't find any areas where it's thicker but It's just, I don't know, there's, looks like you can see some in there, but, you know, it's not, it's not really that thick. So yeah, we're here at Dewey Street. Uh, this road here, I don't know. I'm not sure they even took the blade down it. A lot of people have blades on their quads. And there's even people around town with pickups and blades on those. Um, kind of take up the slack for the city. see any any gravel on this on this curve right here this this intersection Dewey and this is where Dewey and Frey kind of converge there's Frey down there so uh, we were in the neighborhood talking to some people so uh, we thought we'd come down and check this road here we don't see any we don't see any gravel on it it's got a bit of an incline do you have front wheel drive yeah I don't have front wheel drive you have front wheel drive yeah. So you get up here okay for now? Uh, not, not usually. No. Not usually? I get stuck right there because they don't plow this very often. Yeah, I'm filming this right now, okay? okay. Do you mind if I put you on? I'm not going to, I won't take your face, but. You can, yeah, you can record my voice. All right. Yeah, we're keeping them honest. Um, this is part of a road crew series that we're doing. Um, we well, went it looked like they plowed something or somebody plowed, but I don't know who. Yeah, they probably brought the blade down here, but we noticed that um, 
there's no real grab they they bring the sand truck around but there isn't really enough gravel on the road to give people traction no i don't have traction at all and then overnight you know this turns to ice after people drive on it and then it's yeah. um almost impossible to navigate up to even a little incline like this well i can get up no road okay yeah and that other road but as soon as i get on that corner and because there's and sometimes it's not even plowed it's hard to get up yeah well, I live on um, a street that's sort of like this in town, too, but it's a lot longer. And people get halfway up, and then they get stuck, you know. And then if you don't know how to back up on icy roads, it could be kind of scary. Well, if you don't have a four-wheel drive either, then you yeah. pretty much, are, you pretty much have to get... He has to push me out sometimes, though, with his truck. Yeah. You got four-wheel drive on yours, right? That's an off-road rig, yeah. Yeah. I think all of his vehicles are four-wheel drive that he has. Yeah, it's almost mandatory up here, I mean, in this kind of weather, yeah. um, to either have studded front-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. I had studs a couple years ago, and it was so hard for me to get up right there. Oh, really? Yeah, I suppose when it really gets icy, this is just a skating rink. Yeah, and of course, you know, it's such a quick little turn into my driveway that, you know. Yeah, it's, I'll bet it's scary even trying to back out. Yeah, because I, you know, it's more scary trying to get up that road, though, because then I, mean, I have to, like, I slide down. Oh, no. And I'm like, okay, hopefully there's nobody behind me, and if there is, they better move. You mean you take exit 68 and come past the park and then try to get up this? I've never gone all the way down there. Oh, you come up Mill Street this way and then Sometimes. try to turn that corner? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I guess if they put some some old tires up against that concrete it wouldn't be so bad tr coming around that corner that. at 40 miles an hour if you hit those rubber tires then yeah if nothing else you just bounce off and well just yeah. some gravel right like right on that corner there and then right up here would be yeah wonderful okay and for them to keep it plowed all right well we're gonna we got this road series going this winter road series um we did some checking on friday there were some roads that we couldn't even get up yeah. and that was our first real heavy snow so um, I'm going to walk down here and take a closer look at it. Hopefully we can put this on the, on the net and yeah. get their attention. Yeah. Well, have a good day. Thanks, you too. Alrighty, well you heard it. Local citizen, they're having trouble getting up here. Um, this is our first real snow, like we said, so, but, um, you know, this isn't the first year that apparently she's had trouble. It looks like they came down here. I mean, I see a little patch in the center here that looks like it could be gravel or sand that came off their truck. Um, but... I don't know, that's not where it should be. It should be on either side of the road where the where you're trying to get traction. This is Mill Street here.